This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Two of the four children pulled from a burning apartment in Westchester over the weekend have died. The Hamilton County Coroner's Office reports four-year-old Bryson Brooks and two-year-old Alea Incarcion died from their injuries at Cincinnati Children's. Two other kids, a five-month-old and an eight-year-old, are still in the hospital. Westchester police say there was no adult in the Astro Park Drive apartment where four children were burned Saturday. The cause of the fire still under investigation. Two people are facing charges after a man walked into Middletown Police Department and admitted to dismembering a body. Police say John Havens told them 59 year old Bonnie Marie Vaughn was the one who shot and killed the victim found at a home on Stone Path Drive. Investigators have not released the name of that victim. Both are in police custody due in court this afternoon. Vaughn faces a charge of murder. Havens is charged with tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse. Police say family members found Henry Parker alive this morning in Evanston. Police say two of his granddaughters found him bedded down in a backyard with lots of grass in the 900 block of Fairfax Avenue. The 87 year old walked away from his home on Kleinview Avenue around 1030 on Saturday. Police conducted an extensive search with help from community members and search and rescue crews. Parker has Alzheimer's and police feared for his safety. Parker is now at Christ Hospital being checked by donors. Police say he is in stable condition. Brandon. Well, we're in for a roller coaster ride of warmth and then cold and all over the place when it comes to Mother Nature. 92 out there for a high temperature today, feeling closer to 100 when you factor in the humidity. Overnight, we're down to 62 with a few more showers and storms coming in. Temperatures falling and those showers should be out just around the morning commute time. From there, partly cloudy skies for your Thursday. Boy, it'll be cooler. 71 degrees. It's going to become sweater weather as we head on throughout the rest of the week. 92, 71, 67. As you can see, we're on the downward trend temperature wise until the weekend. Mid up 70s out there with rain chances over the weekend, mainly Sunday and then next week settling out into the low to mid 70s.